Item Number SCP-7533 Level 2 Confidential Containment Class Euclid Disruption Level Vlam Risk Level Caution Special Containment Procedures Due to the nature of SCP-7533, containment is unlikely. Members of Mobile Task Force Ephalos Ro, Deadliest Catch, are to track SCP-7533 at all times, updating research staff on the whereabouts and behavior of the anomaly whenever new information arises. Its habitat should be restricted by Foundation agents using the appropriate measures for the area in question. At no time should any personnel interact with SCP-7533, and must consider anyone who has entered into its habitat with the intent of engaging with the anomaly or its effects, lost. Any phenomena experienced by personnel that is considered unusual, mesmerizing, striking, or otherwise in stark contrast to expected reality should report to the nearest medbay. If you witness any of the above behaviors, please report them to your supervisor. Description. SCP-7533 is the designation for an adumbration resembling a mature deep-sea anglerfish, which roams various metropolitan areas in the island nation of Japan. Footnote 1. Adumbration. A shadow or faint image of something. Although SCP-7533 prefers these areas due to food availability, it remains outside of beaten paths, moving through dark and enclosed areas such as back alleys, subway systems, and maintenance tunnels for most of its time. While in a passive state, SCP-7533 appears as an incorporeal space marked by significant refraction, akin to the effect observed over hot asphalt, surrounded by a pink umbra. The entity only becomes active to consume prey, which will cause it to gain opacity and become visible to the naked eye. SCP-7533's exact size is unclear, with measurements taken through captured footage estimating a length span between 2.1 to 2.3 meters. As with non-anomalous species of this kind, it possesses poor eyesight, oversized teeth, and a luminescent dorsal ray which features significant deviations from baseline. SCP-7533's lure resembles an oil lantern and glows in a soft pink hue, with qualities not dissimilar from neon tube lighting. This appendage emits a low hum and undulates in brightness, though its appearance does not fluctuate in terms of shade, which is observed as Baker Miller pink in all cases. Footnote 2 also known as P618, Shoss Pink, or Drunk Tank Pink. It is a tone of pink which has been observed to temporarily reduce hostile, violent, or aggressive behavior. SCP-7533 feeds primarily on large animals, humans being the plurality of organisms encountered by the anomaly. Despite having impaired vision, SCP-7533 is an adept hunter, moving at high speeds in short bursts when prey is near, but tiring quickly. Due to this limitation, SCP-7533 prefers to position itself in an opportune location and attract prey, which it accomplishes with relative ease. The light that emanates from SCP-7533 has been shown to adversely affect cognition in order to weaken and manipulate its prey, though the extent of this effect is unknown at this time. Immersive audiovisual hallucinations, mirage-like illusory manifestations, and behavioral expressions of fear, panic, distraction, confusion, and awe have all been reported often resulting in victims unwittingly putting themselves in close vicinity to SCP-7533 for easy capture. It should be noted that hallucinations experienced as an effect of SCP-7533 are unique to the individual, and thus, contradictions in observed phenomena can be used to differentiate hallucination from reality. It is yet to be seen whether the anomaly is hunting for sport or to sustain itself. Addendum 7533.1 Discovery SCP-7533 came to the attention of the Foundation after the death of Hinata Ito on April 18, 2018. Akira Nakamura, who was with him at the time, reported the entity to the local authorities, where embedded Foundation agents quickly took notice and assumed control. Upon viewing Nakimura's phone recording of the event, it was determined that a monitored containment was necessary. The video has been transcribed and translated from Japanese to English below. Discovery Video Log Transcript Source 
Footage recovered from Akira Nakamura's mobile phone on April 18, 2018. Witnesses Akira Nakamura and Hinata Ito, deceased. Begin log. Footage begins with a tall male figure, presumably Hinata Ito, walking down a brightly lit, neon-drenched alleyway in Shibuya, Japan, laughing and noticeably intoxicated. Behind the camera, Akira is heard laughing along with his friend. <laughs> Do you hear that? Someone needs to fix their sign. <laughs> God, that buzzing is so loud. I don't hear a damn thing, man. Maybe I need more drinks. <laughs> they both continue laughing as the video pans around the alleyway, showing all manner of neon signs. Entries for love hotels, arrows pointing towards dark alleyways, and flickering store signs are prominently displayed in a wash of colors. As they continue down the street, the lights appear to change into a singular pink hue. <laughs> Whoa! What is up with these lights? Do you... <laughs> Do you think it's some sort of love hotel thing? Do you... <laughs> Do you want to... <laughs> Do you want to check into a love hotel with me, Akira? <laughs> he laughs, making kissing motions towards the camera. <laughs> You're talking shit, but some of these hotels are crazy. Th there's one Haru stayed in with her friends that had dinosaurs and a whole pool inside of the room itself. <laughs> what, what? For real? <laughs> That's awesome. He looks away from the camera and enthusiastically points towards a brightly lit pink neon arrow sign that is flickering violently. Let's follow it. I, I have a good feeling about this. The footage continues, following Hinata down a dark offshoot alleyway. He stops in front of an empty storefront. The only light permeating the windows is an ominous bright pink neon glow spilling from the back room. Oh, the door is unlocked. Let's check it out. I don't know, man. Uh, this seems sketchy. I have a bad feeling. Hinata is seen opening the door before Akira even finishes his sentence, already paces into the room and making his way towards the beckoning light. Come on! Be a little adventurous! An audible sigh is heard as Akira seems to cautiously make his way in. The video pans around the room slowly, as a garish display of pink wallpaper and matching paint covers the entire interior from floor to ceiling. It's so... pink? Who in their right mind would like this? Hey, don't go too far in, man. This place gives me the creeps. Hinata's footsteps are heard somewhere in the distance, his voice echoing and distant in the recording. Come on, hurry up. You have to see this place. It's like a fun house back here. I wonder if it was a sex shop or maybe storage for the love hotels. <laughs> His laughs continue to echo down the corridor. Akira enters the back room hallway. The walls are lined with mirrors of varying sizes and the ceiling has a messy rope light snaking its way deeper into the building. As he turns to look at himself in the mirrors, the video picks up a faint shimmer and a quick static interference. The recording shows Akira suddenly frowning and shaking his head lightly, confusion showing on his face. Hinata isn't visible, but his voice can be heard distantly in the background beckoning Akira to come down into the basement, followed by an abrupt, ear-piercing scream that falls into silence. The camera's view is obscured as Akira rushes his way towards the stairs and downwards into darkness, calling out for Hinata. Footsteps are heard descending the stairs and increasing static is heard, becoming louder as he approaches the bottom of the landing. A startled scream is cut short as the camera falls to the floor. Shuddering breaths and whispered swear words are heard as the camera is shakily picked back up. Adjusting from the darkness and fall, the focus returns to a large distorted neon blur and the silhouette of Hinata Ito's deceased body. A fast, wet snapping sound is heard as SCP-7533 devours the head and disappears as quickly as it appeared. Heavy breaths are heard. The hum of the lights starts as they kick back on, washing the scene in a pink glow. The phone is hastily shuffled and turned off as the footage ends. 
Since recovering the video from the police, Akira Nakamura has been routinely amnesticized and the incident was forgotten. The body of the deceased, Hinata Ito, has been recovered and disposed of by Foundation personnel. Thank you everyone so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Brody Hartman, Rubbishbin69, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.